Hello, welcome to this beginner's let's play of Old World. <clears throat> it's a kind of a Civ-like game, Civilization 5 ish It was written by the same people as Civ 5, uh, or some of them, um, but it's a lot more complicated. Um, what's that thing? Like, well, that's that Paradox game that's uh, Crusader Kings. Yeah, it's kind of a mix. <clears throat> so let's get into it. The idea will be to play, I'll play probably play uh, an entire game. It does go on a bit though, so I might decide to skip later episodes if nothing's happening. We'll see. I don't normally edit my videos down. It's, it's a proper playthrough is what you get. <clears throat> so you can actually see the full game. And it's slow enough that hopefully you'll be able to see what's happening. Um, look at the options quickly first. Um, I'm not going to change basic ones. I'll leave the tutorial on. See what it does. Um, I don't know if it remembers, remembers what things it showed me before. Maybe it does. I don't know. Graphics. There's quite a lot of options. I don't really know what they do, so I typically leave them unless something doesn't work. Um, I mean, <clears throat> why not? Show single objects. Hmm. Well, it's it was it played all right. I didn't notice anything wrong. Audio. I've turned the music off. It does have. A copyright safe mode, but really people like their own music, I won't put it on. Um, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Uh, and yes, it does generate some atmosphere, but it's a distraction. Effects, I've put them on at 25%. Fine. If it's too loud or too quiet, we'll see. <clears throat> User interface, we don't have proper English, only US English here, um, but it, it's close enough. Other things, I've left everything else off for now. I'll look for something if, if uh, need be. It has quite a lot of options. Foreign family colours. That could be useful, you know. Flip unit colours. Lots and lots of weird and wonderful options, but we'll see how it goes. Accessibility, got colorblind filters, um, and scaling of the <coughs> text. Um, quite good. Most games don't have this sort of stuff, you know. And there's about a million controls, of which I've no idea, really. <coughs> I used WSAD and the mouse. Um, pretty much that'll be it. So, save them and let's start a random game, shall we? It, uh, one thing, it does have the option of learning to play as you play a game, as opposed to following a specific campaign thing, if you want to. Which is what I did. <coughs> and lost anyway. But anyway, single player game it's going to be. It's going to be a new... Get there are some scenarios. Are there scenarios? There are. Who learn by playing, there you go. Different world maps, Rise of Carthage, Fair Fairs of the Nile, that's a uh, DLC that I've got. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Lots and lots and lots of stuff, right? But none of that. <clears throat> okay. Even Game of the Week. Good grief. It takes me a week to play the game, I can tell you that. Um, choose a leader. Random. Yep, it's going to be random. Because I don't know who I'm going to be born as, do I? I don't particularly fancy any of them. Difficulty level. 
the just. Good choice for learning the game mechanics. You start in a better position than the AI, which will rarely attack. <clears throat> okay, the able is easy if you're not familiar with this sort of game at all. Um, it doesn't take you to war. Above here, it starts to get a bit difficult. I'm going to play on a, a reasonable game, right? the just. That's it. Map type random or because there's goodness me I do not know and there's more you can do can victory conditions I've t turned off time victory one having the most victory points at 200 turns I want to actually win somehow which will either be by points, um, or twice as many points as any other nation, or achieving ten ambitions. Two hundred turns. I don't know. Really, I don't know. So let's start. Um, we'll leave this lot. Map script is going to be random, though. Yeah. I mean. We'll see what a medium map is like. So, let's just go. Who am I? <clears throat> Can I win? If your territory has scant supplies of wood, consider training military units that rely on stone or iron. Concentrate your limited wood supply on building rural tile improvements. Many mounted units have the round ability. Okay. There's a lot of stuff to read in this game because it's to do with people. So I am Hattusi, warrior king of the Hittites. So to win the game, you basically have to get your dynasty to the end of the game. If you have, if you die with no heirs, the game is over. Right. But otherwise, it's a sieve game. <laughs> okay. Okay. First called Labanus, you have earned your throne name of Hattus, Hattusili through fighting to unite the heartlands. Although the people now stand behind you, there is still the threat of intrigue. Your family will need to be brought in in line if Hattie is to become a grand nation Hattie, to surpass the kingdom of your forefathers. So the Hittites lived in Hattie. The established civilizations of this old world do not yet know of the strength and splendor of the Hattie, but they will learn. This bit established civilizations there are civilizations out there already which are more powerful than you. So you have to be a little bit careful, or quick anyway. Um, build up your strength. They, on the just level, they probably won't attack me. <clears throat> First thing, anyway. Select your settler and found your capital city. You'll also decide which family manages your first city, gaining their advantages immediately. There are families, so you have to keep them satisfied. So there is it. I can settle here, or I can settle here. City sites are determined, roughly, in this game. So, oh, I can settle there as well, or there, or there. Any of those. I don't know. I'm going to settle there, I guess. How do I settle? I forgot. <laughs> How do I settle it? I don't know. What's this? Idle leader. Yeah. I've, I've got some technologies. Okay. There's all sorts of overlays you can view if you want to. There's your your people, your staff, I was going to say. But how do I settle the city? Is it S? 
I don't think so. That moves the screen. That moves the camera. Maybe it's enter. No. I'm looking for something to click. Oh. Well, I've selected him, so now can I settle? Yes, I can. Oh. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> I've only played it twice. <laughs> Okay, it's a long time since I settled my last city. Right. Now we have four families. Okay, so what are their advantages and disadvantages? Kusaran riders, family cities, <coughs> two red shieldy things per year. If I hold shift and point at it, I get the details. Training. They produce military units with their training. So... Kusaran riders are, are good at training, basically. They're always connected by roads or trade or something. And the, those family cities, new mounted units start with Saddleborn, which is plus 25% attack, I think that is. If I middle click on it and then hold shift, it stays up there and I can look at that attack strength, yeah. Okay. Uh, family seat. Yep. Yeah. See special bonus. Okay. Cam they can build units that require horses, camels or elephants. Well, there's, there's cows. I don't, I don't know if that's any help. What's that? Deer. Right. Okay, that's that family. Or we can try um, the Nursen. The green head stands for growth, which might be a great idea. We're all specialists. Farms raise money as well. But that's a that thing next to it is a, is a cash. That's growth. Uh, can buy tiles with money. Okay. These guys have civics. The cities produce specialists and projects with their civics. Unused civics go into the global stockpile, which can be used to enact laws and so on. We'll see all that, I guess. There's also culture. Civics and culture we're looking at here. So events come along and I don't know what. Improvements and wonders and things like that. Or the traders. Loads of money. New worker units start with surveyor, which gives them multiple roads per year. Good for connecting cities. Well, I don't really know. Um, I think growth. I'm going to go for growth. So, found that city, please. Um, it's telling us about orders. <coughs> this guy, the king, has so many orders he can give per turn. When you run out of orders, your units can't move anymore. And you can't do a few other things. So that's that. Um, I'll leave the tutorial on for now because it will tell me to tell you stuff, right? Bomp. Now we have to choose research. You can choose one of these or you can view the tech tree. I'm, I'm a bit confused about how um, the tech tree works because I can choose something that's not in these three. But I think what happens is whatever you don't choose out of these three goes into the discard pile. You can't get them again for a time. They'll come back eventually. Um, but you have to pick one or lose it for now. So you can go to the tech tree and pick something else. Um, or you can draw um, some more cards. Um, this is what's available. The discard pile has various things already. 
This little thing says is recommended. Stone cutting unlocks the fort improvement and the quarry. So I can dig up more. But I can build a camp with that, which I've got. I've got um, cows. It's not quite the same. Or divination for building shrines. This is all important. It's going to take me seven years. I'll go with the recommendation. Okay. Bingo. And a city governor be, can be recruited from my court by clicking the wreath icon button below the city banner or within the city screen. Okay. I will do it some other way because you can also, I think, do it here. And a worker. I'm getting tired of these tutorial events. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Shall we stop them? Yeah. Okay. Good. So what have we got? We've got a worker here. He can build stuff. A farm, a mine, a pasture, and various other things potentially. I'm going to start, since I went for growth, I'm going to go for a farm. Build that. Thank you. Next unit. A swordsman. Um, well, look, you might as well just wander over here. This little bar is his range for a single order. You see, oh, there, four. Then he goes there, that's three. That's two orders left after that, okay? So, I'm going to just leave him where he is for the moment. Next unit is a scout. Let's move him straight down to that thing, whatever it is. Survivors. <clears throat> this village has only recently been sacked and we discovered a band of survivors huddled in its ruins. These destitute refugees seem eager to abandon the wreckage of their old lives and join our nation. But they are strangers to our culture. What will you do with them? Invite them to resettle in our nation, gain a worker. Recruit them as hardened explorers, gain a scout. I'm going to gain a worker. Bingo. Very nice. So that's that scout. Next unit. Let's wander down here, shall we? I only have three orders left. Now two. Oh, it's the sea. Right. Doesn't look like there's much down there, does it? Okay, next unit. That's the second worker. The granary improves things that are around it. There's two growth per year and minus one wood per year. I don't have a supply of wood as yet, as far as I can see. I think this is greyed out because I probably can't get to it with the number of orders that are left. So I'll go here right, and build that. Okay, and that's it. Used orders used up. Okay. So and yeah, see what happens. I'm at the sea again. Am I on a little island? You can right click and off you'll go. Eight. Seven orders. Stop there for him, but I can harvest some horses, which means I gain 40 cash, and it takes an order. So he'll do that. They recover. Not the ones I've killed, but they breed, I suppose. Next unit. Do I really want to look down here? I suppose. Just to be on the safe side, yeah. Okay, next unit. It's right. you, is it? Come back. After a certain point, they become exhausted, and you can't make them move anymore, even if you have orders left. 
Well, the city side. Good stuff. Okay. So I've did those, but can he move a bit more? No. Well, I think you can make them move. You can have a force march. Cost you 100 training. I'll save that for some military guys if I ever get around to building them. Iron Tribe. <coughs> a delegation from the Scythians has arrived bearing an introductory gift of iron. The leader of the delegation explains that the Scythians have long gathered a mined iron to trade with their neighbours. I may be mispronouncing all of these names. I'll, well, maybe I'll be consistent with them at least. <laughs> Our hearts melt with gratitude. Maintain the initial truce. We too desire iron. What does it mean? Oh. It, it means war, that's what. Okay, I don't want to go to war. That's be great. Grat gratitudinous. Grateful, that's the word. And we'll see how it goes. Main truces with these people until they become a nuisance somehow. Right. Those before. Ancient carvings have been discovered in a cave near Lake Havania. After careful study, the learned members of the Nenassan family clan, that's my family, <laughs> I should know the name, I don't, of the Nenassan family claim that it is a work by our distant ancestors who once inhabited this region. It is said that they followed a practice where the eldest was the leader of the tribe. The Nenassan family encourage you to resurrect the practice in Hattie to pay respects to those who came before. We will adopt the law of our ancestors, meaning the Nassan family likes me. Seniority. My oldest heir. Replace, replaces primogeniture, which is firstborn. How's your not firstborn, not your oldest? Primogeniture. Could change the succession and anger characters who are bypassed. Who are my heirs? I only have Prince Mercy anyway. Oh, Queen Consort. Would she become the heir? This is all a bit risky. Our ways are our own. Oh, but then the Nanassans won't like me. What do the families think of me? Minus ten already. Look, I made you governors or whatever, citizens of a city, and you don't like me. Let's do it then. Let's cause some chaos. Right, okay. Whatever. Next unit. Let's go over to the city site. That's great. Now, Mr. Swordsman, I think I would like you to go over there and occupy it. Just to make sure. It's, it's a Hattie city site as long as I'm occupying it. Oh, he can't move. But I could force march him for a hundred. Bit of a waste of time. There's nobody else around. Next unit. tired as well. Okay. Anything else? Custom reminder. No. There isn't one. Iron tribe. Hattie plus 90 iron. I've met the Scythians. I've adopted seniority. And I have too many orders. So one is sold for 10 gold. There you go. What else do we have? That's it. 
Truce. Do I have a settler? Well, he's settled. I can't move him. But can the city build something? Yes, it could build a settler. Let's do it. Seven years. It didn't prompt me to, to say build it. Maybe it was building something else and I've just broken that. Anyway, go. Let's build the farm. Let's build a farm here too. Is that lavender? Yes, it's lavender. Very nice. Next unit, you go and occupy the city. Now it's my city site and um, fortify for now. There's something over there, isn't there? Oops, barbarians. I suppose they're a nuisance. Coloured red. More barbarians, what's going on? We're the first to discover this landmark. What will you name it? The Blue Nile? It's okay. We'll call it the Blue Nile. Or should I give it some stupid name? I'll keep the name for the moment. <laughs> I'll name something maybe at some point. But I quite like the name the Blue Nile. Prince Mercilli is now old enough to be tutored by courtiers. Okay. Everything there can be read more about. Grandson and heir. What will he study? Maybe he's my heir. We'll start him on politics. Oh, he gains charisma or wisdom or courage or discipline or he becomes exploring cannot be a governor general or on the council see it's all complicated right can lead to commander schema or a builder or diplomat commander tactician zealot or schema or a judge scholar or diplomat tactician zealot judge builder or scholar goodness me i'm going to stick him on politics like a oh and hero Politics. All right, and I have a settler. Let's just send him straight over here. Can't quite get there this turn. Well, I could force it, but it's not necessary. There's no real likelihood of those barbarians coming here. But just in case, I'll leave him in the way. Next unit. Some pigs there I could harvest. Let's go over here and see what we've got. A volcano and some more barbarians. Mount Ararat. Ah. Now I'm going to rename this. This is Mount Alpha Tucana, right? Of course it is. <clears throat> there we go. Just in case they head over this way, be in the way. Here we go. Cut trees. Anything else going on? Choose governor for Hattusa. There are candidates available. Okay, let's do it. 
This is how I do it. I think there are more ways than one to do it. Idle candidates or candidates for jobs of which there are none. So who would be a good governor then? <coughs> I figure the ones with red bits are not a good idea. I think discontent, yeah, they don't like him. So we can have extra civics or extra money. Extra growth, extra civics, extra training and extra money. And that's me. So it's going to be me. Governor, there we go. A marriage offer. <clears throat> so I can have my own heir instead of... But will... Will I lose primogeniture because the oldest... Because my grandson gets it? Well, I suppose that's okay. From the Nanassan family for your son, <coughs> Labanus the, young, the Younger. Who's he? <laughs> I thought I had a grandson. All characters. Oh, goodness me. Eligible governors, eligible generals, agents, ambassadors, chancellors, spy masters. Right. Okay, so I've got... Me, a queen, Nabarnus, Hasta Jarus, Prince Placili, who's grown up a bit, Pampira the Judge, Caduce the Romantic, etc. etc. Well. Okay, I will marry someone. Must have presumably married someone before. Who have we got? Oligarch, Puda. Pura Hepa of Hattusa. She's a tactician. With, if I hold shift, plus two wisdom, plus two discipline. Increases money, increases science. Charisma increases civics. Courage increases training. Minus two courage, though. doesn't like me. <laughs> okay, minus 40. Or Caduce the Romantic is a builder, which which is can serve as governor or chancellor, can build minus one year to build improvements. Okay. Mm, multiple workers can build improvements. 50% production time reduction for workers. That's pretty good. And um, She's neutral about me. She's romantic, whatever that means. Plus two charisma. Okay. Guess she's the better better choice then. I do like purple though. But there you go. Um, so I guess he's a living relative, is he? Oh, it was a it was a wife for my for my son. Okay, well, fine, <laughs> whatever. Okay, that makes sense because I've got a queen consort. All these relationships, a bit confusing to the scientific brain. Um, come on, get here. Um, hello. I've got to settle a city. You can found cities with up to three of the four families, and the fourth one is a, is a goner. Um, I was looking at these as potential traders, yes, to make some money. But I do want culture too. I'm making a fair bit of money already, somehow. This is difficult because I don't I don't want to lose any of them really. Riders means relatively good military. Let's do it. A 
that you silly little settler. I have a cognomen, which increases my legitimacy. It's like Alexander the Great, or Winnie the Pooh, right? It's a cognomen. It's what you're known by. Hidden jewels. Our explorers discover a cache of jewels hidden deep in the abandoned ruins. Their orders were to explore the lands. Would you rather they exploit its, this discovery instead? So keep the jewels but continue exploring. The treasure would be grateful if we found more jewels. Let's find more jewels. So if they dig around in there. Okay. Choose production in Samuha. I suppose I can give them names, but I should have people join my channel or something, shouldn't I? But I can't think of any perks. What could people have if they join my channel? I don't know. I want a worker. Got to have a worker. Actually, this city needs a governor. Click this to find the governor. And I suspect that that woman. Oh, I can't do it at the moment because I've run out of orders. So next year. We Hittites are a lawful people. Our laws were set by wise kings of old and are the fairest of all laws, says Prince Mersillim. Oh, he's reciting it. Okay. And how do we know that our laws are the fairest of all? His tutor asks. Okay. Because our laws protect even the humblest of the king's subjects, so he becomes righteous. So two happiness per year. And if he becomes leader, one, one happiness in every city. And strength. He gains strength, I guess. Because our laws, laws avoid punishment by death whenever possible. He becomes affable. Extra growth per culture level. Goodness me, that could be useful. What does righteousness do? Two happiness per year. How important is it? In Civilization Five, happiness was incredibly important. But I'm after growth, so it's going to be affable. Right. Connection versus relations. For a long time, the Kusaran family have expected to marry one of their scions to Hestajarus the Wanton. That's a great start. The Wanton. No wonder they want to marry her, eh? But more recently, the Scythians have offered to formalise our peaceful dealings if one of their men can marry Hestajarus instead. Whilst our agreement with the with the, with the Kusarans was informal, breaking it would still have some repercussions. On the other hand, making peace with the Scythians would have many benefits. So if she, if she marries a, a Scythian, Um, he is an orator, robust cultivator, naturalist, with high charisma, low discipline, which kind of matches <laughs> has to rouse us the wanton. The Solis will join the nation, will join our nation. Scythians will be positive to us. What are they like at the moment? Just a truce.
Minus one legitimacy for marrying into a tribe. I have 33 legitimacy at the moment, which is not high. But maybe it is for this time of history. And peace with the Scythians. All families will, will think badly of me for 20 years. At the moment, plus 63, plus 30. All well, fat, they go to minus 40 anyway. Well, 40 off those totals. Or she shall marry and we stuff what the Scythians think. I think, unfortunately, she has to marry what we said in the first place. For the family opinions. And anyway, he's not, not so bad. He's a tactician, a tracker, a herbalist and an engineer. So there. With wisdom and discipline. And two more orders. Again, two orders. Yeah. And that family likes us a bit more. And a bit more also. So, that's the deal. Stuff the Scythians, right? I'd better buy some military units, have not I? A young scion of the Kusarans and a young scion of the Nessanans. Nenassans, they're hard to say. Hard to read. I've each made a request of the court asking for you to support their family. The Kasaran family are in favour of your rule and are eager for your support, while the Nassan family are pleased by your recent actions and are looking to strengthen their ties to your noble house. Will you start an ambition, I think it's ten of these to win the game, to try and curry favour with one of the noble houses? So kill five military units or control five specialists. What are specialists? Middle click on that word, then hold the shift and then click on that. They can boost the yields of an improvement at the cost of a citizen. Oh, I see. Yes, okay. Controlling five specialists is probably going to be a lot easier and cheaper. So I'm going to control five specialists. There we go. This is my new ambition, right? Let's build a mine for some resources. I know there's farms everywhere and all. But we have plus seven food at the moment coming in per year. But not a lot of stone and stuff. So let's start getting it. I can't build any specialists yet. I don't know how to start <coughs> the ability to do so, but they come up in here. Or on the on the farms or whatever. You get little pluses when you look in the city. There. There it is. If I choose if I go in the city, I can build, say, a farmer. What is the city building at the moment? It's building a settler. So I'll build a farmer when it when it's when it's done. That's why it isn't prompting me to, to build something in the city, is because it's already building something. Next unit. Let's go up here. Oh, another city side. Trying to clear away the fog, just so that we can figure out, I can't quite get there without doing a forced march, I'm saving the training up, I don't know what I need it for, but let's save it. We have money, food, and you can buy and sell it if you want to, all of these, iron, stone, wood, orders, which you can also trade in buy it for training. Then science, civics, training and luxuries. Which I guess with the lavender I have some. I can also be sent on a mission. I can hold court.
which takes two years, gives me or costs 110 civics. I acquire a new courtier. I can abdicate, I can divorce, and I can just leave the city. So I'm no longer a governor and what have you. Let's hold court, shall we, just to see. I gain 20 experience points. Cost me 100 training and two orders. Fine. And I must be at least 18, which I guess I am. Bink. Okay, there we go. Anything else? Nope. All right, go. <clears throat> Has to try just a wanton. My daughter and Amuna the tactician have given birth to a daughter, Duchess Tawanana. Egypt has begun construction of the hanging gardens. I wonder. They give you victory points. I have two out of 49 victory points. Next research. I can just get free 200 foods. If I don't take that, it goes away forever. But the other things are research. Roads. I would like roads, actually. Music, Gnosticism and Odeon, which is like culture and stuff. City walls. Oh dear. How important. Yes. What does Revelation do? Religion, oh dear. <clears throat> Slavery or freedom? Hmm. I'll go with the recommendation again. Because I don't have... They, they all pull in different ways. There's no compelling need for walls right at the moment. Obviously I'll need them in the end. The Scythian delegation rise into the city carrying a marriage proposal from their leaders. They suggest that... Molpadia the Scythian or Mirina the Scythian would make a good wife for your son Pimpyra the Judge. <clears throat> How many sons do I have? I seem to be all over the place now. What will the reply be? Yes. Why not? Oh. Okay, so one or the other. She's a diplomat. So she could be an ambassador or something like that. She's witty. Or a judge. Can hurry projects and specialists with money. Timid though. Good charisma, poor courage, good discipline. What does discipline do for hold and shift? Extra, extra things. Plus 12% money as a governor. Good grief. There's enough, isn't there? I think it, I think we could do with a diplomat. Yep. Let's ring the bells. Right. You. Well, actually, I think what we should do is go here. Well, I can't build a road yet. I was going to build a road, but we can't. But I can build an Odeon. Let's do it. Oh, was that a quarry? That's a quarry. That's fine. We need stone. The icon looks very similar. Next unit. What's this thing? Some berries. Can I? Can I harvest them? Harvest wine. Let's do it. Plus five culture. Oh. When you're drunk, you you have culture. Okay. Apparently. Great migration. Broken vessels and strange markings indicate that these ruins were once occupied by a tribe, tribe from beyond the sea. Such a discovery inspires you to expand beyond your realm to new worlds. Commission scouts and send them in every direction. I gain two scouts. And starts an ambition to enact exploration. If I hold down shift and point at it, on completion plus 10, start exploration law. Middle click. 
middle click, hold down shift, exploration law, movement bonus along neutral river, scouts move on water, hunter's opinion, plus 20, requires rhetoric which I don't have yet, um um um, or I just gain two scouts. Well, this looks looks more interesting. I don't know what the exploration will do. Let's let's do it. Enact exploration! Hooray! I think that's a law. So you guys explore. Oh, in fact, let's harvest some heifer lumps. Okay. And you, let's go straight up there. And we're out of orders now. Wasn't I going to do something? In one of the cities, but never mind. Like, place of governor there. Oops. I've held court, handing out wise judgments and important reforms. 110 civics. Brilliant. Harvest some silver. Oh, I'm at the edge of the map, I think. The edge of the world is up here somewhere. Yeah, up there. Fine. Barbarians coming out. What rotters they are, eh? Might as well have some more heifer lumps. Now, wasn't there something I could do here? Plant a governor. Not enough orders? Must not be of a different family than Kusaran. Oh, okay. Requires garrison, stronghold, or citadel as well. Yeah. I was able to have a governor here. Perhaps because he is the same family. I'm not sure. Next unit. A speech given by a famed teacher of politics has been the subject of much discussion at the academy. Prince Masili comes to you late one night, bleary eyed and pondering. I've been up all night thinking about it. The speech says you cannot teach virtue, virtue, but then it says the study of discourse is the best tool we have to learn of virtue. I just don't understand. We don't have these options because I'm not. I don't have enough wisdom, I don't have enough courage, otherwise gods give out virtue and we must use it wisely. The path of virtue is long and hard road. Virtue is the full sum of man, of a man. Wait, they have you studying what? <laughs> he becomes humble. If I give him that, what which is? Extra wisdom, extra flamey stuff. Discipline. Well, here he just has extra experience. I'll go for this. Why not? There it is. Right. Harvest the gems. Now, was I going to do something at a city? Oh, yeah, this unit was attacked. That's a scout.
need to deal with these barbarians, but let's trundle over here for now. I think I'm nearing the edge of the map on this side. Settler. And I have found a city somewhere, have I not? But I certainly need to be building military units. There was a city site somewhere. Oh, all the way over there. It's a long way. There must be something nearer. Probably under these clouds. For the moment, you're going to have to sleep. Um, okay. It's part of the Oracle. It's a wonder. It gives me two victory points. And increases the tech card hand size by one. I can't, you see it's, it doesn't respond because I don't have enough stone probably. However, if I hold an alt, I can purchase stone and I can build it. I lose money instead. Who cares about that? Money is for spending, right? Well, unless you're saving up for a pension or something. Right. Which you should be, in most cases. <laughs> Right, okay. So, let's just have a look at her. Well, it sh it sh it'll prompt me. Okay, so we'll go to the next unit. You. Let's start developing the next city. Let's go here. If I were to build a farm, see it gives me, the, if I point at the farms there, it gives me the score of the various hexes. On a quarry, 11, that's a good quarry. And I want it to grow quickly, so I'm going to build the farm first. Oh, I can't, All right, it's got to do it here. A farm there is a 7, quarry there is 11, no, he's going to have to wait a turn, All right, okay. Next unit. There's a city here, look. I knew there must be one around here somewhere. No orders left, okay. So, I need some military folk. Expensive. I can get some cheapo mil militia. Strength three, movement two. Has his own control. Or a warrior. Strength four. Six years to build. Let's get a militia first.
There it is. Okay. Come here. They can never quite get there, can they? I need some other militiamen. They're not strong, but they're fairly relatively quick. Pimpara the Judge, my son, <coughs> and Molpadia the Scythian have given birth to a son, Duke Tsurata. Tusurata. Now that Prince Marsilia has completed his study of politics, how shall he contribute to the court? Which role best suits him? A scholar, a beacon of knowledge and culture, a diplomat, a trustworthy and charismatic broker. Diplomat. And we're going to have to settle... Next turn, I would say. I call it Old World One. I don't know. I hope we don't get up to 99 episodes, but it does go on a bit, the game. And I will see you in Old World 2. Bye for now. <laughs>